What's going on, y'all? Chad Arms, Chatty Bobby, 11:30. Back with another video regarding this whole cluster fuck of a situation in the battle rap world. Uh, if you're watching this video, then you've already seen my one from this morning. Uh, people just don't know how to fucking drive at all. I can't stand when there's a lane ending and people ride that motherfucker all the way up to try to scoot over in front of people. They can go fucking fuck themselves. Anyway, uh, yeah. And, and somebody always is a pushover and lets them over. They can kick fucking rocks. I'm not letting you over. Anyway, get, get your shit together, champ. Tech Nine passed away March 24th, right? They said it was natural causes in his sleep. The battle rap community was completely fucked up, including me. I was like, I was in shock. I was fucking, it was, it was a bummer, man, you know? I made a video, like, shouting him out. All that, which I took down after what's going on. Just because. This morning, some charges came up. Ten charges came up against Tech 9 that are public record. Okay? They're going to be pinned in the comment section so you can see this. Then I'm going to also pin the article from one of the, the websites that I just found out about from phillymag.com, but it's also on a bunch of other ones. Evidently, I'm just trying to get my thoughts together because it's so fucked up. Evidently, the charges against Tech 9 that are 10 of them, and they're all underage sex charges, child pornography, um... I think assault of a, of a minor under the age of 16. Apparently now, there's an affidavit that, that came about or whatever. And in that, they talk about the one, the girl that it's it's involving is Tech 9, the, the woman that he was talking to, his daughter, underage daughter. Which, that's fucked up in itself, that you're trying to fuck with your gal's daughter. Especially if she's underage. So they... There was two incidents that she's talking about. What is this motherfucker doing? What are you doing, bro? God, I can't stand people, man. Um, I'm trying not to get in a fucking road rage incident. Must have been a wreck. Anyway, the, the daughter says there was an incident where he asked, he snuck, he asked her to take her clothes off and he would, so he could masturbate in front of her. Motherfucker, man. Fuck the fuck up is what that is. Secondly, she recalls an incident where he broke into her room with a knife in his hand. And I don't know if he forced, if he was trying to force her to have sex with him, force her to give him oral sex, Whatever it was, there was something to do in that nature. It's in the article in the pinned comment section. What in the fuck, man? And people commented, I deleted a couple comments. They commented on my last video saying I was slandering him. I'm not slandering anybody. This is public record. This is like court records. Like, not court, but like arrest records. This is not me making something up. And the whole battle rap community is talking about it. If you go on to Twitter, if you're a battle rap fan and you're on Twitter right now, shit is fucking crazy right now. Tay Rock went on there and did, like said he wants nothing to do with champion of the year, whatever. Here's my, this is my thing. Okay. I'm making this video to talk about that, but also to talk and say what a lot of the culture is saying is that Jay Black's got to get on some type of, whether it's Twitter, make a video on his YouTube page, something, and and try to explain this. If he had any involvement in it, because the, the main issue is that there was a $30,000 GoFundMe that was raised in a week. I contributed to it. I didn't contribute a lot. I said I, I donated 20 bucks. Not a big deal. That's not the point. The point is, all these people contributed to this because... They thought that it was one thing. You know what I mean? Now people are saying, because until we know what the death, cause of death is, there's no telling. But now people are thinking that he committed suicide, which nobody knows that. It's just very coincidental that he passed away the night before he was supposed to go get arraigned for all those charges. And they would have been, some people would have found out about it, let's be honest. 
I don't have kids. I've got nephews, and I've my girlfriend has three kids. One of which is a girl, and my best friends all have daughters that I look like that I act, you know treat as my family. So I'll be damned, bro. Like I I can't fucking cosign that at all. Never will I cosign any of that. And on top of everything, it's the daughter of the woman he was dating. So, and this is what people are saying. People are saying, well, it may not be true. They may just be making it up. How could they make up child pornography charges, though? Something would have had to have been on his phone, his computer, something. I'm just saying. It's fucked up, man. Black's got to, he's got to address it, man, somehow. I'm sure he will eventually. Because this, this is, I have a full-time job with Best Buy. I have benefits. I pay for life insurance and accidental death insurance to where if something happens to me, my family would be covered, right? That doesn't cover suicide. You know what I mean? Who knows if that's what happened? It may have just been that he could have been so stressed about it that he had a heart attack. Who knows? It's just coincidental. Coincidental? That's not a word, Chef. It's a coincidence. We're not going to try to figure out the coincidental. Is that a word? I don't know. I'm a fucking redneck. I'm not a redneck, but I sound like one. This is not a laughing matter, though. This is fuck the fuck up. Okay? Hashtag fuck the fuck up. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going to come of this. I just know that it is very, very fucked up, man, to have any kind. I just don't understand how somebody could be fucked up in the head enough to want to mess with a kid, man. Mess with a fucking child. Under the age of 16, bro? Fucking sick in the head, man. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, y'all comment y'all's thoughts, man. I'm on the just I just wanted to post another video. Cause it's just it's fucking crazy, bro. Again, I'm gonna start blogging on battles and stuff more. I didn't get to see Born Legacy, uh, the new Born Legacy, because it wasn't on pay per view, and I don't live anywhere close to New York, so or it wasn't in New York, was it? Where was it at? I don't know. Anyway, um, what are y'all's thoughts on it, man? Shit is fucked up.